What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with a quick Witch Queen video. And in this one we're going to speak about the new exotic armor, and a guaranteed way to earn the new exotic armor pieces on each of your characters. And so we'll round that up, as well as getting access to the Osteo Striger exotic SMG, and a brand new exotic quest for the Parasite exotic worm launcher. And so I hope you guys find the video useful. If you do, a rating below really does help us out. But now let's get into it. And initially, let's speak about the new exotic armor pieces. Typically, DLC exotic armor pieces in D2 have been earned via Legend and Master Lost Sectors. And that's something that's remaining the same inside of Witch Queen. However, upon completing the legendary version of the campaign, at the very end, Ikora will actually present you with a choice of one of the new exotics for the class that you're playing. So I was playing on the Titan, where we have the Harfrost Z, as well as the Laurel East Blender Helm. And for finishing the Legend campaign specifically, Akora will give you the option to pick up one of these. And as far as we know, this could be done on each of your characters. And so that gives us a brand new guaranteed source for the new exotic armor pieces. And whether you've played the Legend campaign off the bat or returned to it at a later date, you will be able to pick up that reward. And of course, the alternative method to earning these new exotic armor pieces will still be Legend and Master Lost Sectors, but Bungie have changed things up and we're going to see only one of those featured every day. But nonetheless, we'll still be able to gain access via Lost Sectors as well as the Legend campaign. But some other things worth mentioning for post-campaign. And if you're wondering about the Osteo Striga exotic SMG, once you've finished the campaign, if you go to the crafting table in the Enclave and go to the available weapon patterns, Osteo Striga should now allow you to start shaping the weapon. And the exotic bonus is called Screaming Swarm. And then without leveling the weapon up, we're able to apply polygonal rifling, steady rounds, the trait Toxic Overload, where landing a final blow or multiple precision hits triggers a burst that poisons nearby targets. And then finally we have Handlaid Stock. And the last slot is for the Exotic Catalyst, which requires weapon level 10 in the crafting system. But nonetheless, that's how we can get initial access to the weapon. And of course, after leveling it up, we're able to do additional things with the rolls and stuff like that. The very final mention for post-campaign is that Akora on Mars will also offer a new exotic quest called Of Queens and Worms, and this is for the exotic launcher Parasite. So if you want to kick that one off, you can do it post-campaign by speaking to Ikora, and I'll keep you updated on the objectives for that later on. And of course, looking at the new armor pieces, the Laurelly Splendor Helm comes with Quarterizing Flame, and when you have the Sun Warrior active, your sunspots heal you, and when you're critically wounded, you can create a sunspot at your location. Then there's Horfrost Z, and when using the Stasis subclass, your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets when created, and standing behind the barricade will grant you and your allies increasing reload speed, stability, and range. But for Hunters, we have Blight Ranger and Voltaic Mirror, and attacks that you redirect with your Arc Staff deal massively increased damage and generate orbs of power for your allies. But there's also Renewal Grasps, and your Duskfield grenades have a much larger effect radius, and allies inside the Duskfield take reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage. Finally, for Warlocks though, there are the Osmiomancy Gloves, and your Cold Snap grenades have an additional charge that recharges quicker on direct impact, and the Seeker spawned from Cold Snap grenades travels further. But finally, there is the Second Filaments, and Devouring Rift allows casting an Empowering Rift to grant you Devour, and damage dealt by you and your allies from within the Empowering Rift will disrupt combatants. So there we go guys, a breakdown of those new exotic armor pieces and how to access some of that stuff going into Witch Queen. But as always, stay tuned to the channel, get subscribed, and I'll be keeping you posted with even more content. But otherwise for today, as always, I appreciate you tuning in. And there's a little bit of gameplay right here from the end of the legendary campaign as we took down Savathun. So as always, a spoiler alert is necessary, but you can check it out on the legendary difficulty if you want to right here. And otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in and hope you have an awesome day. Day.